everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I'm Shane. <laughs> Today we are looking at part two of With Brown Slippers, Ballet Leaps into the Modern World. And the vocabulary words are available. Available. New ice cream flavors will be available starting next week. Finally. <laughs> convenience. Convenience. I sometimes eat fast food for convenience and to save time. Mm. Acceptance. Acceptance. As one of the few female managers in the tech company, she fought hard for acceptance. Fantastic. Fantastic. I just woke up after having slept for 10 hours and I feel fantastic. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. The restaurant put us on the waiting list. Hopefully, someone will cancel their reservation for tonight. Sure hope so. I'm so hungry. So we're still talking about Ballet. ballerinas and the point shoes, That's right? That's right. So there are some companies now that are starting to make ballet shoes, mm -hmm. point, point, shoes in different colors. Not right? just pink, not just white, but they're coming up with maybe brown or bronze. Bronze, brown, and I imagine probably a lot of different shades of color mm -hmm. to match the different tones of people's skin. You are right, and then actually that's a great solution because some dancers would save a lot of time because they don't have to put, you know, makeup or spray paint on the shoes anymore. Right, but not only that, it makes them feel more included. You're right. Before it felt as though they're not accepted and they have to do their own work to try to get accepted. Yes. So now people of color feel they can just buy the same things as the white people in the stores mm -hmm. and they'll feel that this sport is actually for everybody for everyone that's the you point all right. right so i think it's a great move that's right it's a great step forward or a great leap for the human leap kind forward. <laughs> okay that's right let's learn more okay about the point shoes that's right with brown slippers ballet leaps into the modern world to address this problem, a few shoe companies began introducing new point shoes colors for darker skin tones. In addition to ballet pink, shades like ballet brown and ballet bronze are now available. This is a welcome change for professional dancers since they no longer have to spend their own money and time to darken their shoes. Today's lesson is called With Brown Slippers, Ballet Leaps into the Modern World, Part 2. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike, and we're learning about how ballet shoes and ballet point shoes are changing with the times. Back in the old days, a lot of the ballet dancers were from Europe or Russia. They had white skin, so they had white or pink shoes. But nowadays, people from all over the world are doing ballet, so as we have African dancers or Asian or Indian dancers, the ballet shoemakers are changing the colors of their shoes to match the new look of modern ballet. I think it's a perfectly wise and logical thing to do. Colorful, da colorful dancers, colorful Why shoes, not? there you go. Anyways, to address this problem, the fact that many darker toned dancers have to pancake their shoes, i.e. change the appearance of those shoes paint using them. spray paint or makeup or stuff like that. To address this problem, a few shoe companies began introducing new point shoe colors for darker skin tones. So there you have it. Instead of having to repaint your shoes every time you get a new pair, you can go ahead and put them on right out of the box and they will match your skin tone. Sounds good to me. In addition to ballet pink, shades like ballet brown and ballet bronze are now available. Fantastic. So yes, ballet pink might have been the traditional color that was around for many, many years, but in modern times we have ballet brown and ballet bronze for people with darker skin colors. These colors, these new colors, 
are now available. Something that is available is free to be used. It's there to use if you want. It doesn't mean it's free, but it is there if you would like it. You can get it. You can get it. You might have to pay for it, but we do have it. If you go to a business and they say, "Oh, I'm sorry, we sold out of that product." And we're not getting more. Well, in that case, it's not available. But if it's there in the store and you can get it, or if it's there to be used and you can use it, it's available. For example, new ice cream flavors will be available starting next week.、Ooh. I can't wait for ham and pineapple. Really? No, I don't want to have that. I was, I was hoping that was not the case. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and move on. This is a welcome change for professional dancers, since they no longer have to spend their own money and time to darken their shoes. Remember, there was only white and pink before, and a lot of dancers had to pancake their shoes, spray paint them, use makeup, so on and so forth. But that's a thing of the past. These dancers no longer have to spend their own time and money to darken their shoes. And that's a good thing. Imagine if basketball shoes were only white, and before each game, LeBron James had to paint his purple and yellow to match his team colors or something. That would be an that would、crazy. be a ridiculous waste of time. And remember, they we learned yesterday they use two or three pairs of shoes a week. These dancers. There you go. What a waste of time. What a waste of time and money as well. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。芭蕾舞是源自于欧洲。那在传统上，芭蕾舞者所穿的足尖鞋还有紧身裤袜，通常都是白色或是淡粉红色。那么黑人舞者为了要让鞋子可以搭配自己的肤色，就必须在鞋子上面涂上喷漆或是化妆品，让鞋子的颜色变深。好，那为了解决这个问题，有几间制鞋公司就开始引进新的足尖鞋颜色，来配合比较深的肤色，像有芭蕾棕，还有芭蕾古铜，这些色调现在都买得到了。那这对专业舞者来说是一个很棒的改变，因为他们不用再浪费时间跟金钱去把鞋子涂黑了。好，这边一个单字 available，available， Available, 它是形容买得到的或是可获得的。那它的名词是 availability，availability， Availability, 它表示可得性。好，那么这个段落里面有用到 address 这个字。在这边不是指地址哦，它是当动词用来表示处理或是应付。接华课文中。With brown slippers, ballet leaps into the modern world. Being able to buy darker-toned point shoes means more than simple convenience. Before, the availability of only pink shoes suggested to black dancers that they did not belong in ballet. Making bronze and brown point shoes available is thus a signal of acceptance. As ballet dancer Marie Astrid Mentz puts it. Being able to wear bronze point shoes is fantastic, and I hope I will inspire young ballet dancers and make them want to start ballet. And as dancer Sira Robinson says, this moment makes me feel extremely proud. Ham and pineapple ice cream.、Mm. Don't knock it until you've tried it. It's actually better than it sounds. No, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Being able to buy darker-toned point shoes means more than simple convenience. So, this means more than just saying, "Hey, I no longer have to darken my shoes with makeup or spray paint. I no longer have to pancake my shoes." Yes, there is more than meets the eye here, and it goes beyond. Simple convenience. By the way, here we have the word convenience. Okay, a convenience is something that makes your life easier than it would be otherwise. So yes, it's an inconvenience to have to darken your shoes. Now, if someone gives you a darker tone, a darker tone shoe, let's say, that's going to make your life more convenient. It's going to make your life easier. This is definitely a convenience. By the way, the noun is convenience. Convenient is the adjective.、And、by the way, another note: it's a convenience store. Even though you want to think, hey, that first word is an adjective, so it should be convenient store. That's not the case. Seven Eleven, Family Mart, so on and so forth. They are convenience stores. For example, I sometimes eat fast food for convenience and to save time. 
time. I don't have to cook. I just go to McDonald's and I get the fast food there. What a convenience! Now, of course, painting your shoes was inconvenient, but it was also just the fact that these African American, the black dancers, the darker skin color dancers. The fact that they had to paint their shoes, that no one was making shoes that matched them, that was another thing that kind of bothered people. It's, it's, it's an insult. It, it, you can understand. It might not be trying to insult them, but it's certainly not changing things to make it easier for them, which would seem a simple thing to do. Before it says the availability of only pink shoes suggested to black dancers. That they did not belong in ballet. It kind of gave them this idea that, sorry, we don't want to change it for you because ballet shouldn't really be your thing, and that is not not cool at all. Making bronze and brown point shoes available is thus a signal of acceptance. It's accepting that there are people like that doing ballet, and they should have nice colored shoes if they want. It's not a big deal. What is acceptance? This is a noun, and it is basically to be included as a member of the club, or the gang, or the team, or the family, or something like that. If a new person comes to your school, it's nice to go over and introduce yourself, ask them their name, find out about them, because then their feeling of acceptance as of being included in the in the in the class or the group. Will be much stronger, and everyone will get along better. For example, as one of the few female managers in the tech company, she fought hard for acceptance. So this person was fighting hard for acceptance, and yes, ballet dancers of color—they've also been fighting a similar fight for acceptance. And yes, having these shoes in different tones and different colors is a big step forward. A Big step towards being accepted or getting acceptance for these ballet dancers. Anyways, as ballet dancer Marie Astrid Mentz puts it, being able to wear bronze point shoes is fantastic, and I hope I will inspire young ballet dancers and make them want to start ballet, to make them want to start dancing ballet. Anyways, here we have the adjective fantastic. If something is fantastic, it's wonderful. It's great. It's amazing. So on, so forth. For example, I just woke up after having slept for ten hours, and I feel fantastic. I feel super. I feel great. I feel wonderful. And there's more. And as dancer Sira Robinson says. This moment makes me feel extremely proud. Yes, this moment feel makes me feel as though I'm a part of the club, as though I have been accepted. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 对黑人舞者来说，能买到颜色比较深的足尖鞋，不只有方便而已。刚刚 Jeff 老师说。There's more than meets the eye. 这意思就是说，这件事比眼睛看到的，比表面所看到的复杂多了。因为过去只有粉红色舞鞋，没有人为黑人舞者打造适合的颜色。那这暗中意味着他们不属于芭蕾舞界。所以可以买到古铜色和棕色的足尖鞋，就是一种接纳的象征。那我们来看两个单字 ：convenience。Convenience， 它是指方便或是便利性，像 convenience store 就表示便利商店。好，那它的形容词是 convenient， 形容方便的、便利的。接着我们在 convenience 跟 convenient 这两个字的前面加上表示否定的字首 i n， 就会变成相反词。Inconvenience 表示麻烦、不便，或者是造成麻烦、不便的人事物。Inconvenient 就是用来形容不方便的、造成麻烦的。好，下一个单词 acceptance。acceptance 它是名词，表示接纳或是认可。好，课文接着就引用两位芭蕾舞者的话。Marie Astrid Mans 就说啦，能够穿古铜色足尖鞋真是太棒了。他希望自己能够启发年轻的芭蕾舞者，让他们想要开始学芭蕾。而另外一位舞者呢，也说到说，他觉得这一刻让他觉得非常自豪。那这边有个单字 fantastic， fantastic， 它就是形容很棒的、极好的。接下课文中 ，With brown slippers, ballet leaps into the modern world. The ballet industry may still have a long way to go when it comes to including dancers of color. 
In the meantime, however, making point shoes in a variety of colors is certainly a step in the right direction. Hopefully, it will pave the way to even greater inclusion. All right, everyone, we're back and we're here to wrap up our article on point shoes. Mm -hmm. That's right, the shoes that female dancers wear now come in all sorts of colors. And this is a good thing. But we next read the ballet industry may still have a long way to go when it comes to including dancers of color. Ballet, like a lot of traditional arts, is kind of conservative. They don't change quickly with the times, and so they often end up looking very old fashioned and seeming, you know, rather slow to change. In the meantime, however, Making point shoes in a variety of colors is certainly a step in the right direction. It's a small step, but it's a big step, especially for the conservative world of ballet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it will pave the way to even greater inclusion. We'll see more people of more different interesting colors doing wonderful ballet, and the world will be a better place for it. Hopefully. Hopefully, exactly. That adverb, hopefully, is we're talking about something that we have hope for. We're hoping for the best. We're hoping for good luck. We don't know. It's in the future, but we're feeling good. We're feeling positive, and we hope that things will go well. For example, the restaurant put us on the waiting list. Hopefully, someone will cancel their reservation for tonight. We don't have a table yet, but hopefully, we can pray, we can wish, we can hope for the best, we can cross our fingers, things will be fingers, better. Fingers crossed. Things will work out. We're hoping this happens. Yes. Anyways, folks, with that, our article is now complete, but we're not through. We have the what do you think question for you guys right now. Mike, in your opinion, mm. In which other professional area should there be greater inclusion? Gosh, that's a tough question. Venture capitalism? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but I would say um, classical music is an area that should strive for greater inclusion of women and minorities. This is similar to the ballet problem. I know that they did a, they did a test and they had people play the violin to join an orchestra, and usually the men would get picked. So what a lot of places do now is they put a wall in front of the judges and the, then the musicians, and it's actually much more even now. Women get picked just as much as men do. So. If you want to learn more about this, go. by the way, Malcolm Gladwell wrote a book, and he talked about oh, this really? very topic. Yeah, interesting. So a lot of these old art forms, like classical music and ballet, they need to work harder to catch up with the modern world, I think. I think so, too. Yeah. All right, folks, with that, that's it for our lesson, and it's time for us to say bye-bye. Take care. 古铜色和棕色的竹尖鞋是跨越种族繁离的象征。不过说要包容有色舞者, 芭蕾舞界可能还有很长的路要走。希望这件事情能够为更大的包容性来铺好路。那我们最后来看单字，hopefully, hopefully 它是副词，表示希望的或是但愿。那补充单字 inclusion, inclusion 它是名词，表示包容包括。那么文中的片语它说 have a long way to go 字面上的意思是还有很长的路要走，也可以用来表达它还有很多工作需要做。好了，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是Hanny，欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍的文法重点有三个，第一个是suggest表达暗示间接意味，第二个是belong in，第三个是pave the way。好，我们先来学动词 suggest。它可以表达暗示、表示或者是间接意味着。那当这个意思来解释时，后面常常会接that子句。你还可以在that子句的前面加入 to somebody，表达对某人来说。例如，Your tone of voice suggests to me that you're hiding something from me。在我看来，你的语调暗示着你对我有所隐瞒。我跟你说，女人的第六感很准哦，给我重拾招来。好，接着我们来学 belong in 
，belong 是不及物动词，表示适合或是归属，后面可以接 in 加上团体、组织、类别等等。同学们在网络上应该看过很多心理测验吧？像有的是可以测 which country do you actually belong in？ 你其实适合哪一个国家呢？ Which Hogwarts house do you belong in? 你适合哈利波特里面这个霍格华兹哪一个学院呢 ？Which Marvel superhero team do you belong in? 你适合漫威的哪一个超级英雄团队呢？好，这时候如果你测验结果出来了，你可以说 The result says that I belong in the Avengers. 测验结果说我是归属于复仇者联盟。哎耶耶耶！雷神说：“好帅哟、哦！”好，最后我们来学片语 “pave the way”。字面上的意思是铺路，那它可以用来表达做好准备、打好基础。那你后面可以接 “to something” 或是 “for something” 或者是 “for somebody”。例如 ，Tammy's early training as a dancer paved the way for her later success. Tammy 早期的舞者培训训练为她后来的成功铺路奠下基础。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。表达冷落他人的英文有哪些？欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》英文，我是 Kate， 我是 Steven。那 Kate， 我觉得今天要学的英文应该还蛮适合你的、嗯，为什么呢？因为我觉得你应该是一个还蛮会爽约别人的人。哪有？我不是。那为什么你天不会爽约我？我有吗？<笑>现在不敢承认了，是不是？啊、<笑>大家也不在意好。好，那没关系。就算你爱爽约还是不爱爽约，今天就是教你们，如果爽约别人的时候，怎么用英文去讲。嗯。第一个呢，就是 I blew him off。I blow him off. 嗯，那 blow 呢，就是 blow 的过去式，就是吹嘛。我一定要用过去式吗？呃，不一定，就是如果你现在正在在爽约别人，你说 I am blowing him off. OK。那为什么是 blow him off 这个动作呢？因为在一九零零年代，一九零零年代的时候呢，就是用。用空气去吹别人的意思，就是你要像空气一样，看到这个人你不想看到他，你就可以像风一样呼呼飞过去，不要就是跟他碰面就好了。好奇怪，是真的是这样吗？是樣啊、我每次很像把别人吹走哎、欸。呃，这样子也许是他们的意思，<笑>可是他就是以对以前那个意思就是说，如果你 blow someone off， 就是像风一样， okay. 就是避免他、嗯，对，就把他当空气。对，是是是。哦好,好，第二个这个呢，我觉得也很有意思。它就是 I gave him the cold shoulder. I gave him the cold shoulder. 对，就是如果光是听，会感觉很像就是冷落嘛，就是用一个很冷的一个肩膀给他。嗯、这个背影非常冷漠。对，嗯，对。但是有另外一个理论，就是是说在啊、呃、很久很久很久以前，如果你今天有客人到你家，嗯，那如果是一个你想要来的客人的话，嗯、你如果切肉给他吃，那一定会给他最热的一个肉，嗯、对不对？让他吃的很舒服。但如果是一个你不想看到的一个客人，你不想他，你对他一点都没有想欢迎他，你就给他吃最冷的地方，就是他就是冷的地方，肉的肩膀，就是给他 cold shoulder。所以肉的肩膀很冷，就是意思说就是你不欢迎他。我给我喜欢的人很热很很好吃的部分，我给你就是。肩膀不好吃， oh, 然后又冷掉的地方，嗯、是比较硬啊。肩膀。所以如果就是说你想、嗯、不想理这个人的话，就是 I gave him the cold shoulder. I gave him the cold shoulder. 对。OK。好，第三呢，就是 I brushed him off. I brushed him off. Brush 这个动词就是这样子。<笑>拍开这样子 ，brush off，OK，、嗯 okay? 那这个人就对你很像，就是像你的身上的灰尘，<笑>还是你的头皮屑一样那么不重要，所以你就是今天 I brush him off， 就是你已经完全把这个人当成、嗯、就藐视他这样吗？对对，你弄那个动作，你弄你弄，<笑>超适合他的 ，OK， 好，今天学到的英文就是关于冷落别人 ，OK， 好。<笑>好啦，让我们来看看 live action 吧。Why did you give Judy the cold shoulder last night? I had a quarrel with her. I brushed her off on purpose.、Mm, I see. I even blew her off this morning. You went too far. D E, I blew him off. D E, I gave him the cold shoulder. 第三 
I brushed him off 